All right, hello everyone. Thanks for joining us today. Welcome back to the Serve Now EDU webinar series. Uh, per usual, we haven't done one of these in a while, but we'd love to get back on track uh, with a consistent schedule. Uh, so if you have a topic you want covered or a speaker you want to suggest, please let us know. We certainly want to cover things that are important to you and your business. Uh, if this is your first Serve Now EDU, I am Trent Carlisle, co-founder of Logical, the company behind Serve Now, Serve Manager, PI Now, and most recently we launched an e-filing site called courtfiling.net. We're currently live in Illinois and California with some other states uh, here coming live relatively soon. Uh, as a summary, these webinars are all about providing education to the industry, helping you grow or improve your legal support, process serving, or private investigation business. We've covered many topics from uh, e-filing to compliance to social media, SEO. Um, and all those past recordings are on the EDU section of Serve Now. If you want to go and check those out, you can go and watch those. Before I introduce today's guest, I'll let you know a couple other things. Um, this recording of this particular webinar should be posted to Serve Now in the next few days. You can also subscribe to our channels on YouTube or iTunes. Uh, and if you're joining us live today, feel free to ask questions along the way using Zoom's Q&A tool, which should be at the bottom of your Zoom screen. Um, this is our first attempt at using Zoom, so uh, hopefully we don't mess anything up here. Um, we probably will. Uh, today, our guest is Michael Reed. Michael has been a professional process server since uh, 2013. In addition to being an entrepreneur, he is the CEO of Process Server Daily. Uh, which is his process serving business in Northern California. He's the host of the Process Server Daily podcast. He runs PS, PSD, Process Server Daily University, uh, that offers training uh, courses, books, et cetera, for, uh, for process servers. And uh, Mike, I don't know, I wanna, why don't I just turn it over to you for a minute and tell us a little bit more about you know, you've kind of, you know, kind of came on the scene pretty quickly here in this industry, <laughs> especially with the courses and, you know, you've, you've killed it on social media. Why don't you talk a little bit how you, how you got started, first of all, but in such a short amount of time, um, kind of where you got, uh, or how you got to where you are in the industry right now and kind of where you see things going over the next few years. Yeah, thanks, Trent. It's uh, good to be with the Serve Now community. Uh, I've learned a lot about from Serve Now and from all the wonderful people that are a part of Serve Now. So I got started. Yeah, it's it's been a crazy few years. I got started in the industry um, in 2013. I was going to school to be a nurse, and uh, long story short, all the nurses that I knew weren't making as much as I was when I was just doing it part time. So I thought I need to get I need to get after it and go. Uh, do this thing because one of the things that that attracts me about this industry is that you can you can serve things at a specific time and you can just go after it like I was a delivery guy so I knew I could deliver about 20 or 30 prescriptions in in one night and so I thought if I can do that and this guy all right let me back it up real fast <laughs> um, so I got served divorce papers from my ex-wife and the guy told was really cool and he told me he got paid 50 bucks to deliver that and I thought, man, I do 30, 40 <laughs> deliveries in a night if I could get even, you know. So that's what got me going. And uh, I've all, I'm a natural born salesman. I've had other businesses. When I was in high school, I had a carpet cleaning business that me and my two buddies had. So yeah, I'm a natural entrepreneur and I just love this industry. There's no other industry you can go to where um, you can search someone, t give them the code word affiliate <laughs> and uh they give you like a half off discount. No other industry can, you can do that in. So it's great. Cool. Awesome. Um, you know, why don't we just kind of, you know, get right into what you're going to talk about today. I mean, um, what's really interesting to me is uh, I, think, I think Michael is doing some really cool things with technology. Um, you know, we live in a world today where you don't necessarily need to be incredibly tech savvy. It certainly helps. You don't need to be a developer, 
Um, there's, there's tools out there that, you know, help one application talk to the other. Um, there's a, a tool called Zapier out there that, you know, you start using that thing and it, it's very empowering. It makes you feel like you're a developer. <laughs> and um, the, the automation that Michael has set up to manage his business is kind of like a, a, a perfect example of the things that you can be doing in the process serving industry or any industry for, you know, for that matter to save yourself time, save yourself money, uh, spend less time on phone calls, emails, status updates, things of that nature. And, um, you know, what's cool for us is you're using our serve manager product to do yeah. that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, why don't I just want to hand it over to you? I know you got some slides for us and yeah. you know, along the way, I'll just let everyone know that, um, feel free to ask questions. Uh, as I said, use that, uh, that QA section. I'll be kind of, uh, looking at those and asking those when the, when the time is right. And then at the end, we'll also save a little bit of time for, uh, for some questions as well. We'll try not to go over an hour, but uh, yeah, Mike, why don't you uh, share your screen, share your slides and yeah. Away. So Trent, I think you hit it right on the head with, and I forgot to answer that part of your questions. Like, where do I see things going? You know, the legal industry is probably one of the only industries where they still fax things or where they still, um, you know, will want to send you a check. I was kind of surprised that so many people were okay with just saying, yeah, I'll do the work and then you pay me whenever you feel like it. No other industry can you do that in uh, 60, 90 days. Not that I know of anyway. So, all right, so we'll, we'll get right into it. Share my screen here. Okay, can you see that okay? I believe so, yeah. Good. All right. So, yeah, let me see here, move this over. Sorry about that, I got something in the way here. Okay, all right, so automation domination is something I've been working on and I just wanted to share with ServeNow. If everyone in ServeNow, all the attendees, anyone who's watching this, if you stay to the end, you listen to the whole thing, I'm gonna give uh, my course away that I created. It's basically a seven hour course where I walk you through step by step how to set up your firm yourself. And I'm gonna give away that course um, for free. If you stay till the end of this um, webinar and you go visit the website I'm gonna give you at the end of the webinar, you guys can go um, get it for free. So. And that's on August 1st, right? Is that when you're planning that's, on? That's right, it's gonna launch on August 1st. I'm holding it to August 1st because uh, there's a book as well. And uh, we kind of passed over that part, but uh, the first 50 registrants of this webinar um, are getting a free copy of my book, which you can see right there. And that's gonna come out on August 1st as well. And Trent, that's coming from you guys directly, right? Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll probably, I'll, I'll get with you, Mike. I think we're, we're gonna send people a, a PDF copy of that. So yeah. we'll compile that list of those that uh, got registered first. and probably within the next week or so, um, you and I will kind of coordinate and make sure that, you know, we at least get in contact with those folks. Yeah, I definitely want to make sure they get a copy. And a PDF copy is probably the fastest way to do it. Otherwise, uh, we, we will have some shipping options that they can pay for. So, okay. Um, go ahead. So the free gift automation, this is a, a, about a $200 value is what I'm going to charge for it for people who don't attend the webinars. They just want to purchase it. So you guys are getting that for free for coming today. So uh, my, the, my goal here is to teach you to automate your firm and to save you 45 minutes on, minutes on each and every assignment. I've done the math, I've, this is a rough number, but after going through everything and looking at from the sales to um, receiving jobs to doing proofs of service and follow up assignments, um, it's about 45 minutes on each and every assignment. If you add that up over the course of a year, uh, you're saving quite a bit of time by using these um, tools. So uh, to help, uh, my, it's my mission, my ultimate mission uh, for the automation is to help you achieve your goals and make the legal industry a better place to do business. Um, when, I, when I came to the legal industry, uh, it was hard for me to try to figure out what to do and different, different elements. And so whether it's me teaching the things that I had to learn the hard way or whether it's automation, um, it, it's, that's, my, that's my mission here. So 
who am I? I am, as Trent said, I have a PSD University. I have many free courses that are coming out for PSD University, but the main, um, the main goal here is to educate the industry and to be able to help you guys um, avoid some of the pitfalls that I had to go through. So I'm just gonna hit arrow down here. So <clears throat> I am the, I have, as Trent also mentioned, I have a podcast process server daily. Uh, there's some pictures of some of the people that I've interviewed, top leaders, um, then the president of NAPS um, in, in this industry. And every time I interview somebody new, I learn some new tip or tactic that, that I'm just amazed by. I'm like, wow, I wasn't using that before and now I know it. And so I've learned so much, so many things by listening. I mean, by interviewing people. And so if you guys check out that on iTunes, it's also on Android, iHeartRadio, all over the place. Uh, Serve Now also, I think, is hosting it on their site, right, Trent? Uh, we are, yeah. We have a, we have a page that has uh, your recent episodes. Awesome. And um, it's also going out in the Serve Report. I think we have each new uh, issue going out. That's perfect. And so that's, you know, you guys have been real great with that. Uh, one of our newest sponsors and uh, the podcast is just a wealth of knowledge. And the cool thing is you can listen to it as you're driving around. And so the, I'm the host of that. So <clears throat> I have a life that was uh, built on necessity. Um, you know, I had children at a really young age. And so that's one of the things that drives me so much to succeed. It's my wife and uh, I have eight kids total. There's a couple missing from here. So that's a little bit about me. This is our favorite park to go to. Um, so one of the things that I want to mention here is that like, just like I'm sharing this with you, if you guys, I want you to make me a promise. If I'm, since I'm sharing this with you and I'm going to drop so, so much value here for you guys to be able to automate your firm, whether it's for sales purpose, whatever it is, you're going to be able to uh, really change your business and change your life. And uh, it might sound, that might sound a little extreme, but as I go on here, you'll see why I think that. So pay it forward. So on May 6, 1965, something amazing happened. Roger Bannister broke the four minute mile. So no, nobody had ever heard of that being done before and in all of history and uh, he did it. The, the interesting thing about this is, is that not just 46 days later, John Landy did it. And so all of history had never been done. And as soon as one person does it, Another person sees that and they go after it and they're able to accomplish it. So right, the reason that matters is I had an interesting thing happen at CalSpro, the California Association of Legal Support Professionals have, have a conference every year. And their last conference in October of 2017, um, I, I weighed about 476 pounds and my life, I felt like my business was working pretty well for me and there were some good things in my life and I felt good, but um, there's a lot, I was telling myself a lot of stories that weren't true. And this guy, Bob Davies came and he said, you have far more capacity to create the circumstances in your life than you're aware of. And I still talk to Bob every, every other Tuesday. And we have basically a, 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 a come to Jesus meeting. <laughs> we have a meeting about basically, Hey, are you doing, are you staying on track? Are you doing what you're supposed to do? And the, basically the, the purpose of this is, is to be able to know where you are, so that you can accomplish the goals that you've set for yourself. And you, you, you can change your situation no matter what it is. And you don't have to tell yourself stories, whether it's, um, you know, I, I can't find anything good to eat. So I'm eating junk on the road, fast food and stuff. Or maybe it's, um, I can't get clients because the other person in my city is, he's got them all locked up and he's had them forever. So I can't grow my business. Those are just lies. Those are stories you're telling yourself. If, you know. We all have our own, but so what I'm going to show you, some people say, well, it's not guaranteed and they want to get really technical and stuff. So I always want to say, uh, you're not going to get a new client every day necessarily. You're not going to automating your firm. Isn't suddenly going to change your life and make you this millionaire. Um, I'm just giving you some tips, tools, tactics that I use to help you in your business. And, uh, I, I think if you just took one of them that I'm going to show you today, it's going to help your business dramatically. So when I first started, I just wanted to get enough serves to cover my bills, hang out with all my kids, you know, enjoy my life. But then I heard this video of this guy said, you know, uh, whatever your goal is. And remember at this point, I've already decided I'm changing my life. Um, I was losing, I lost 30 pounds in one month. 
and I was like, and, and I changed, started changing things in my business a little bit. But when I heard this, I thought, could, is it possible for me to become a millionaire? Could I make $2,739 and 73 cents in one day? Cause that's what it would take to become a millionaire in one year. Could I do it? And so I started thinking about that. And um, so I started looking at my numbers. And in 2014, when I actually opened my business, 2013, I was a process server working for an affiliate in, in, in my town who gave me a chance to serve papers, 25 bucks each. And then I started my own business. And these, this is how it went every year. The average cart value per customer uh, per month stayed about the same, right? Um, but over the years, it went up, kind of doubled every year. Um, and it was okay. It was doing, I was doing pretty good. That's in Cal's pro conference 2017. And then all of a sudden when I made these changes that I'm going to show you today, I was able to, uh, raise my customers from 69, 74, somewhere around there at the end of 2017 to over now over 200 regular clients. And that's not just your random pro per that comes around. That's the attorney client, the collection client, the family law client. These are clients that, um, send us, uh, 100, at least $172 a month, okay? Recurring for different jobs, right? Um, so now we're up to, this was a few months ago, but now we're up to 34,000 a month. It's not quite what I'm, my goal is, um, right? But that's, is it possible? When you look at the difference now, it, be, it seems a lot more possible. Okay, so how are we doing it? Let's get into it. There are three steps here. Uh, step one is your value offer. Step two is automation. Um, and step three is being marketing, driving traffic to your site. Without these three things, and I just want to point out that this is the model for every company in one way or another. Automation can take the form of employees, right? You can't scale without having help. And automation is, is, is an important factor in that. So you either have to hire people to do it or you have to create systems of automation to do it for you. Um, step three, optimize and drive traffic is all about marketing and everybody can learn that, but I have a specific way that, that I like to do it. <clears throat> if you want to achieve success, all you need to do is find a way to model those who have already succeeded, Tony Robbins. And uh, so I'm going to show you the way that I've done it and uh, you guys should be able to do it too because I'm not a tech genius. I'm just a guy, salesperson, you know, that's my experience. So if I can do it, you guys can too. So click funnels, we're going to get into the nuts and bolts just a little bit here. Uh, I'm just going to kind of show you the, the, the flow process. If a customer was to come to your website right now, are they just going to get your email address and a phone number maybe to call you and interrupt you in the middle while you're sitting in someone's driveway? Or uh, are they going to email you while you're gone from the office and you don't see it? And then they end up emailing five other people. Um, this is the kind of stuff that you got to think about. Think of the psychology of the customer and, and how come you're not getting their business or, or what are you doing right that's making you get their business. So this first thing here, this is just a little brief introduction of ClickFunnels. It's basically like a website. You can have multiple funnels. Um, you can have multiple funnels here. Like I have a whole bunch of them. But the idea here is that one funnel is like one website. And so this is my website here, Process Server Daily. And all the pages, instead of having them in a different place, all the pages are right here. But the key with a funnel instead of a website is that you're funneling your customer, you're funneling their, the traffic in a certain way. They come to the home page. If they, if they opt in, then they will um, go to the next page and so on. So I want to show you that. <clears throat> so the psychology of a customer when they come to your website, generally you see a bunch of links right here, right? If you wanted your customer to come to your website and purchase from you, um, why would you put a bunch of doorways for them to leave a potential purchase? Now, some people, I've, I've talked to a lot of people, I've helped a lot of, I want to say probably a dozen other entrepreneurs that have had all these questions, which are valid questions. Um, well, what if they want to know more about me first? What if they want to, and so those are all valid questions, but a customer that wants to purchase from you online and has come, has come to your website to purchase from you online, they need to be able to go to do that right away. Now, if somebody wants to be able to call you, um, you should have your phone number somewhere, but I don't put it at the top because I don't want that to be their first reaction. I want them to scroll down. Uh, I don't want to go into this too far because I have 
I have put a lot of thought into why and when and all that. And, but this is important. I just want to let you know, I, do, I go over all this in my course and I also will build these for you too for a fee if you want me to do it for you. Okay. So I, I believe in having a high quality video here where you introduce yourself, introduce basic services that you offer, and then um, offer them to go ahead and claim your, their free gift that you're giving them. So in this case, I give away an ebook. It's a big part of my business is e-filing. And so I wanna give them their free gift where they can claim it. They put their email address in here and then uh, hit this and then they get the ebook so that they can learn how to e-file. And that's real big in California right now. So that's why I have that. And so this is right away, if you remember one of the, the first step was a value. Um, three, three things that a, a business needs to grow is first thing is value. And so right away I'm providing my customer value with this free gift and I'm starting the, 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 the relationship right here. I was going to look up something with bounce rates, but anybody who ever looks at their, their analytics knows that um, you lose most of your traffic. If you get a seven to 15% conversion, you're doing extremely well. And I just think that obviously that that book becomes a lead gen tool for you as well. They may not come and buy from you this time, but right. you give them that free gift and now you have them on your marketing list. Thanks for jumping in there, Trent. Yes. Cause I get, uh, I was going on here. So I thank you for that. Yeah. So the whole idea here is you get the bounce rate. People bounce off of your website. In this case, maybe like you said, it was just, uh, I call her Donna. There's a specific person that I think of when I think of Donna. Donna comes to your website. She's just been tasked with looking at potential, just getting information on process servers and uh, maybe not purchasing. And so she comes over here, clicks the button, and now she, now you've started that relationship. You have that email address. And so you can nurture that relationship by telling her, hey, Donna, we're we're now we're doing this special this month, you know, and this kind of thing. And this, you don't spam them. You provide, again, you provide value to them, real value. So and I guess the notion of a book, you know, a book too might seem a little, little daunting. I mean, I'm assuming this isn't a 300 page book on e-filing. I mean, it, right. it's really a very concise resource where again, you're providing value, but you didn't spend six months, you know, writing this book so you could build your website. Right. And I think it was you last time, Trent, you were mentioning something like um, you could do something as simple as, hey, seven steps for hiring a, a process server or why, why, uh, why priced isn't the first thing you should consider when hiring a process server. These types of things you could do like a little guide. And uh, there's a couple of companies I can think of, large companies that actually have some other ones that I really, really like. Just do some research and think about what can you truly provide value in. And, and that's a hook. Right, that's a hook for people to be able to give you their email address and begin that relationship. And this, in Trent, you know, this is some basic stuff that in, in, in marketing, but in the legal industry, I feel like no one, there's maybe two or three companies doing it. So time to move, time to move on uh, and to upgrade and to become a part of this century. <laughs> so, okay, so now let's go into the buying experience. In the perfect world, their questions are answered here or here in the video or in this, uh, in one of the services here. And I don't want to bombard them with, I might have a hundred different services, but I don't want to bombard them with all my services. I want to give them my three core services. Now, if they want to look at for different services, they can always call, or I could even have an other. So if you don't have three things, you might have your, your uh, two main ones and then have a other, and which will take them to a page that describes all your other ones. So, but moving on here, if, let's say they want service or process. I didn't mean to click on that actually. Okay, and then they come over here, they see a video. This is where you go further in, into answering any questions you think they have or teaching them more about your brand and your, and your experience. So this is a fun video where I tell them, you know, I come in and save the day and I serve on the weekends and at nights and all that. And it's a really cool video where they get to see like, we're gonna do whatever it takes to get your guy served. And it's fun. So a lot of times people, it'll leave a good impression on people and they'll just come over here see which service they want, whether routine, rush, or same day. They'll click on it. It'll take them to the, the checkout page. And this is where some interesting things start to happen. I told you my average cart value, um, I didn't dwell on it too much, but the average cart value went up quite a bit. And I want to explain that. So when they come over here to check out, they're going to put their customer information, billing address. And um, now just imagine you're them and you're here. I don't know how well they can, you can see this, but 
they, they click the service level that they want, they put their card number in, they've already decided they're gonna purchase. Now when they come down here to hit complete order, they're gonna see this and go, yes, please e-file my proof. E-filing is a part of my, my business, a big part of my business. So I offer this at 50% off, it costs me a dollar to e-file for them and then I get $15 because it's half off. So all, the, the cool thing about this is psychologically, they're like, yeah, half off. They click it, it adds $15, and now my average cart value went up from 79 to 94 for this particular purchase. Uh, they hit complete order. I mean, I, I, I don't wanna just go by this too fast because this is super powerful. People that understand uh, metrics and, and analytics and and how much money you get from each customer, being able to upsell this fifth, just a small $15, and this could be anything. This could be, for my court filing I have, I'll send, we'll send, we'll send the um, original copies of the court filing back to you um, for $15. You could put whatever you want here in this order bump using ClickFunnels, it's called an order bump, and you can make it look however you want, and in the course I go through that, how to do that, so. Okay, so the next tab, so, so they purchased and you get automatically, when, once they purchase, I don't know if I'm gonna jump over here real quick, you get an email automatically that says, in this case, he didn't opt in to get the thing um, e-filed, right? So it's because it's only 79, but he purchased online and I got this email right away and um, Mike, did you talk to this person or is this just an order that just showed up in your inbox? Yeah, it just showed up in my inbox. Yeah. And so I'm kind of getting stuck in the nuts and the bolts here, Trent, but, but that's, you're exactly right. So I, I'm, I could have been asleep in bed or, or how better example, I could have been out serving. Right. And this guy came to my website. He, whether he opted in or not, well, I'll make sure I'm on the right page whether he opted in for that free book or not, he just put his email address in here and ClickFunnels started that customer nurturing process where they're gonna start saying once a month, whatever, however you set it up, they're gonna start nurturing that customer and, and creating them to be a valuable, um, I guess a loyal customer that's coming back to you again and again. Well, I think you're gonna get to the additional pieces, obviously, you know, how, you know, the different tools that you're using, you know, what kind of goes into building all this and, mm -hmm. you know, serve manager and those other things. But in theory, I mean, you could be out serving, they could hit same day service. You know, you have a mobile printer in your car or you stop somewhere to print those documents out. You don't have to go back to the office and kind of reset or wait, you know. Right go back out. I mean, you could, you see that order come through and I don't know if this scenario has happened to you, you know, at all or much or whatever, but in theory, you could be printing those documents almost immediately, getting those papers served, call this guy up, hey, or, you know, put a message in, serve manager, service complete, here's your affidavit, and you just, you know, blew this guy's mind. You know, someone, yeah. you know, not an experience that people are used to. Yeah, you're exactly right, Trent. Yeah, you're exactly right. So what, so what happens essentially is, and I do go through the whole process here, but, um, and in the course I break it down how to do it, but right now I just wanna show you kinda, this is what happens. Right. So they purchase, um, in a perfect world, they, they did the e-filing of the proof, I get an email that says, hey, you just got this payment, and then simultaneously at the same time, or not at the same time, but a few minutes later, however long it takes them to fill out, um, the form stack form. And you can build these forms. I just want to show you a little example here. You can build these forms in form stack, um, whatever forms you want. And I'm going to show you guys how to build a form in form stack that you can then integrate um, right into Serve Manager. So ClickFunnels will take the payment and send it over. And then Form Stack will take the information for the serve, request for service. So as soon as they click purchase, that's all going to happen automatically. Then when they fill this out, customer, this is all their, this is all their job info. Right yeah, here. that's right. Thank you. Yeah. So they fill all this out, the, their job information, special instructions, and this is designed specifically to auto be automatically put into serve manager. I have my, my policy here. So many people wonder like, well, how am I, how do I know? Am I protected? You put whatever you want in here. You go have your attorney draw up some, uh, privacy policy, uh, terms and conditions and stuff I haven't put in here. And then they just sign the form right there online. They hit submit and it comes to you 
in your email. Um, and it comes to you in serve manager. So this is where it ends up. This is that same job. And uh, in this case, uh, what serve manager does is it. This is the job that essentially the customer created for you because yeah. they filled out the form. Right. So I didn't have to enter it. I didn't have to enter the information. I didn't have to talk to them on the phone. They didn't call me and ask me, hey, what areas uh, do you cover? Because I explained that in my videos. They didn't ask me how much do you charge because it's online. Um, so all the information ends up in Serve Manager, which is where I track my serve. I take my phone here while I'm out in this field and I put in my details and it comes back to right into Serve Manager. So when I have a chance, I go and uh, I, I, I click print on the proof of service and then I have a proof right then and there. So I want to back up here real quick, Trent. Um, so many people are like that I've talked to that are kind of at my level where they're doing really well and they, um, they have issues with um, people paying on time, but or people want to pay by check. And so I've, I've created a little thing for that. That's going to help those people. So instead of you can make a little link right here where they fill out the document. So instead of prepaying, I prefer that my customers prepay and if they don't want to prepay, I send them to a credit app. And so let's say you're an affiliate real quick, cause this is a lot of who's going to be watching, right? Let's say they come to your payment page and they're like, wait a minute, I don't want to prepay because my customer, whatever the reason is, there's a ton of reasons, but you can set it up where they can um, call you. They're like, I don't want to prepay. I'm going to call them. Hey, I'm an affiliate. That's what happens, right? This isn't ideal, but this is, a, this is a lot of other affiliates. So they call you and they say, hey, what can I do? I have it saved on my computer, and my, my staff does, to send them this link, processserverdaily.com forward slash credit app. And when they fill out this credit app, so this is the second tool. The first main tool, Trent, was that you get to um, capture that lead. And so even if you don't get them right away, you're gonna capture that lead by giving them value right away. The second tool was that cart value. You get to bump that cart value up by $15 or whatever you set it at, it could be whatever you want. And then the third, the third main tool here is this credit application. Uh, a major pain point in our industry is that customers don't pay. They'll take 60, 90 days to pay their bill and it, it just drives you crazy. So this credit application, you send it to them, when they fill this thing out, it's going to securely take their credit card info and they're going to sign your terms. They're going to, you know, it's all official. They're going to sign and it's going to send it to Stripe or wherever you tell it to send it. Cause that's the automation, the way we set it up and then Stripe stores it. So once a month you could go in there and we've been playing a lot with this to see how we want to do it, but you could go in there and charge their card for whatever their balance is. My specific terms are, you send me work anytime during the month. And then you, if you want to send me a check, you do it by the 15th or I'm going to charge your card on the 15th. And for those who don't know, Stripe is essentially a, the payment platform. It's, um, it's a tool that we have integrated into, into Serve Manager. You don't need to have a merchant account. Uh, it will serve as your um, kind of secure vault for all of yeah. your customers' payment data. So. You know, no more writing them down on sticky notes or entering them into your case management system. Those can all be stored directly in Stripe. Uh, it's a lot like, it, it's more of a kind of a robust development type platform, um, but there's, there's a lot that you can do, kind of like a uh, PayPal type uh, yeah. solution with a lot more bells and whistles. That's right, Trent. And also... Um the thing about this also kind of doubles for us as uh, like a like a membership application. You know, people that want to have access to our portal, um, we're going to trust them with that. They can trust us with their card information, and they're one of our loyal customers. We put a button up here for portal login. So if somebody already has a credit card, this portal login takes them directly to Serve Manager. And so, in an ideal world, they fill out this customer application, and then you. Uh, follow up with a call with a phone call and say, Hey, we're so grateful to, you know, have you on it as a customer. Uh, we're going to give you a, you know, backdoor access to be able to look in serve manager and see the attempts as they're being, uh, as they're being made. Hey, um, Michael, there's a question about pricing. Is this now a good time to uh, field that one? Yeah. Yeah. We could talk about pricing. So specifically there's a few different 
it depends on how deep you want to go and how much you want to do. But um, there's, a, there's a specific question from someone in the in the audience. They want to know uh, when you're building out your cart. I mean, essentially coming up with your your pricing. I'm assuming um, how do you account for you know difficult serves, mileage, printing, you know everything else that's kind of layered on. You know, kind of the unknowns. Is that is that something that you just kind of build into your Pricing, knowing that this is not going to be a slam dunk, others are going to be a in the yeah. butt. I mean, what what brought you to kind of these different levels? Yeah, it's a great question. So, and it's something as entrepreneurs we have to constantly be uh, asking ourselves: Are we getting enough, or are we charging too much? And uh, what I, that's exactly what we did, Trent. Is we decided, um, you know, what we're going to like. For instance, we don't include printing. We charge. We don't charge anything for printing up to a hundred pages. You know, I can buy a case of 5,000 pages for 25 bucks. And so rather than have to count all the pages I'm printing and that type of thing, we just include it. Um, as far as miles go, um, we have a surcharge. So if something, ha well, this is like within 15 miles of city limits, you can set it up however you want, but we have a little disclaimer says, you know, this is within 15 miles of a, uh, of the city limits. And if it's more than that, then we just try to have a $50 surcharge to cover whatever the cost is. So if you had other fees, so this is the other thing. If you had other fees, um, uh, I don't want to go into it too much, but statistics, you know, the bell shaped curve, they talk about, you know, 90% of your job is going to be in that bell shaped curve. And then you have some of them that have where you have to call them and say, hey, by the way, it's going to cost us $40 to ship this uh, record retrieval that we just got. You know, anything that's going to cost us money uh, where we're going to have to pay money to the court. So I didn't give you a court filing example, but a court filing example is it takes them from court filing to, and you saw that right here, um, right here it says, if your serve requires a witness fee, please complete the customer credit application. So it'll automatically take them back to, to this application. So then we have a secure payment on file. We, don't, we might not know them from Adam. And so this is a way to, to secure payment um, and not have to go around collecting money. All well, the time. I mean, from a pricing perspective, especially as it relates to checkout and automation, and, and we do set up some form stack forms that feed into Serve Manager as well. Yeah. And, you know, we'll say, you know, give us your price points and, you know, they'll give us 20 price points. You don't want to confuse your customer. You want to keep it simple if it means, you know, figuring out your pricing so that, you know, the averages work out to cover the, you know, the difficult ones. And, you know, if, if you have to raise prices a little bit to do that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, then that's what you have to do. But if you want to keep it simple, streamlined, not confuse your customers, if you have to spend, you know, five minutes explaining your pricing, you know, you probably want to rethink that. Yeah. And, and I'll just, and I'll uh, piggyback on that, Trent. Um, <clears throat> one thing that I'm coming up with here that's going to answer that a little bit too is so many people are like, yeah, but I, I only cover these certain areas. Um, one of the common things with process service, we have zones. You know, this is this zone, this zone, this zone, this zone. And so you could set it up on the front end, which is probably what I'm going to do later on, where it, they click on a certain city, then it takes them to a checkout page, a different checkout page altogether. Um, and you go through the same, it's the funnel process. And I go over this in the course. So when you take the course, you're going to see you could have a different payment page for each zone that you have. So you're not confusing the customer. They click on the specific area, it's going to take them to the next um, to that specific payment page is going to have the different pricing. Gotcha. Cool. Okay. So, yeah. So just the last thing that I wanted to show um, is I, I didn't really get into serve manager yet. And I wanted to say a uh, big part of the automation when it comes to serve manager was um, I have the job. I went out here and served it. And there are some people who still want to pay you um, by check and you have their card on file, if you're doing it the way I'm doing it, you have their card on file. And so what you can do is at the end of the month, what we do is we'll send them a statement. You know, we send them a statement and then, uh, and then on the 15th, we come back to this and you just go down your checklist and uh, we just signed up with this in, uh, in the beginning of last month to start using Serve Manager again. And I gotta tell you, 
Trent has been, these are just the people who aren't prepaying, um, the people who actually owe us a little bit. And, and um, we've, we've pretty much collected most of last yeah. month. Collections uh, is doing a good job, it looks like. Yeah, they're doing a great job. And so this is the idea um, with, with running a business is to make money. And uh, so Serve Manager has been an awesome tool in being able to do that. And so if I could, Trent, go back into this real quick, this job. Um, some people say, well, it's not all perfect because Formstack puts it in there. But let me just tell you, you can quickly just hit edit and come over here and assign the, the, the server that you want to do it. Put in your case info if you want to put in these additional details. Um, it's just, I love Serve Manager because it's so customizable. You could put all kinds of different things in here. Uh, whenever I do skip tracing, for instance, I'll come over here and I'll use these fields to put in the different addresses or um, last four of the social so that when I come back in and do another skip trace, I mean, I use serve manager for my court filings, serves, I use it for all of that. And it's, uh, it's been a wonderful tool to be able to help automate things and um, it's all in one place. I don't have to go searching the web everywhere to be able to find what I'm looking for. Yeah. Yeah, we have... Um uh, I would imagine there's a good group of folks in the audience from California since, you know, you're with us today, but we also have a number for the California folks. We have a number of uh, customers that are doing their records retrieval management, generating those docs, et cetera, through serve managers. So we do have those uh, packages, those templates set up if there's anyone out there uh, in California who, uh, who does that type of work. Yeah, that's awesome. And so when you so <clears throat> when you guys do go to um, do the uh, free course, this is what it looks like. I just wanted to touch on that real quick. So when you come over here to the takebackyourtime.net, um, you just click here to register for the course. And that's uh, for August 1st. So Trent, did you want to get into... Um, I went through these different, uh, the different tools that I use. Um, <laughs> Gonna make lots of money if you use these tools. Cash. <laughs> so we threw a lot at you, and uh, but this is just kind of a taste, so you understand what it is and what automation domination is all about. But Trent, yeah. did you want to go into this a little bit? The yeah, Zapier. We talk about that for a minute. I mean, I think just to you know, kind of summarize what Michael is is talking about is you know we're talking about you know using marketing and technology and you know. Uh, user interface and design to create an experience and that's not only an experience for your customer but that's also a better experience for you on the back end and that's you know reducing the data entry reducing the time on the, not that not that we all don't want to talk to our customers and you know not that we're not there to pick up the phone and walk them through problems that they're having but you have an opportunity to save a lot of time by automating a lot of these things. And these certainly can be optional. You know, not 100% of your customers are gonna come through your website and go through that whole process. They may wanna know who they're dealing with first and, you know, make sure that the, you know, the phone number's not disconnected and you're a real person and do their own research. And, yeah. but I mean, there's so much that with either Michael's help or, you know, our help or, you know, doing it on your own, you can, you can do these things with, you know, technology today. It doesn't have to be, you know, you don't have to go hire a developer to build a e-commerce type workflow. Um, you know, so that's really the emphasis here. And, you know, talking about, um, you know, ClickFunnels is, you know, probably just one tool that you would use. Um, you could use ClickFunnels, you could use WordPress probably, um, you know, and a funnel can be just kind of a subset of your website too. It doesn't have to be, your entire website, but, you know, by packaging these things together, um, you know, your website uh, forms, uh, serve manager, Stripe, or whatever, you know, payment platform you're using, you know, you can, you can build an experience like this. So um, I certainly encourage everyone, you know, the Michael is extending the course uh, free to you, go to the course, check it out. Um, if nothing else, you're going to get some great ideas on how you can improve your website, your experience, save time, save money. And, uh, you know, if you really like what Michael has to say and, you know, what he's put together for himself, that's something that he's offering to everyone that's out there uh, as well as a, as a service that he, he offers. 
Um, but I mean, there's just little things that you can do with automation. Um, really kind of, you know, stupid, simple type things using Zapier where, you know, you can do things like, you know, you want your job due dates to show up on uh, your Google calendar. You know, there's, there's a Zap for that. You know, you want your, um, uh, you want to build out your customer list. You know, you want to automate that with, you know, maybe use constant contact or MailChimp, or maybe you don't do these things because you don't have the time. And um, these are things that can be automated. You don't need the time to do these things if you're, uh, if you connect your serve manager account to, to Zapier. Um, there's so much you can do. There's over a thousand different apps and a bunch of kind of preset tools that are built into Zapier. Um, you know, if there's a successful, you know, if you want to, send text alerts to a process server who has a new job or a customer, you know, you want to send them text updates. If you can think it, if you're using some other web-based tool where it'd be great if serve manager can, you know, talk to this tool, it's probably out there and available. And, you know, our support team's there to help. And I'm sure, you know, you know, Michael will be a good resource for that. It doesn't even have to be serve manager. You can make, you know, some, you know, you, you can automate things with your, with your email and other tools that are out there. So, um, someone just asked if you have to pay for Zapier. There is a free version. Um, they, it, it, it would be pretty simple zaps, um, that would fall under the paid, paid version. I think there's, you know, X amount of zaps that you can set up, but I mean, what Michael, we're talking about, 25, 30 bucks a month, 20 bucks a month for the, the starter. Um, yeah. I can't imagine that that wouldn't work for most people out there. That's but, what I'm using I mean, and I'm doing. Uh, the, how many hours are you saving a month with your Zapier account, Mike? Oh man, I can't tell you, you know, using all the different things. I mean, it's at least like I, I claim 45 minutes per job, you know, and we're doing well over 300 jobs a month. Uh, yeah. uh, I don't even know what it is now. I mean, uh, yeah, there's the, the, the 20 bucks. I mean, you're, you're going to save that probably in the, the first day of things that you're automating there. But um, yeah, I wish I would have, you know, had some more concrete examples. Maybe that didn't necessarily uh, relate. Well, Trent, I could give a couple too. Um, yeah, so, yeah. So, so one thing that's really cool, and this is just to kind of bring it home for a real, you know, real world uh, example here. I'm, when I go out in the field and I'm out serving, like for instance, yesterday, you're asking me about when I was out serving those evictions. I'm sitting there in the field serving an eviction, this big old fiasco I got out there. Uh, I'm getting text messages, ding, ding, ding. I could show you right here, serve manager. It's just telling me uh, using Zapier uh, all the jobs that I'm getting yesterday, yeah. you know? And so being able to have the serve manager jobs, tell, it tells you the details of what the job is. Then you get uh, Stripe telling you, hey, you just got another sale. You just got another sale. I mean, you, and maybe you don't want all those notifications, so you turn them all off and you have somebody in your office dealing with it. But the cool thing is, is you could do this from the field. Like you were saying, Trent, you could have a printer where um, you, you set it up with your phone and you just have it, you know, you just print it on the road. You don't even need an office. I mean, so there's a text messages. When it comes to serve manager, you can create um, – due dates that's a big deal for like eviction so for all of our evictions uh, we have we have it do it for all of them but it becomes really important when something is nearing a default date and uh on an eviction you need to know that because you have to go in there the next day and file that default or else they could file an answer and then it has to go to trial anyone who deals with evictions knows that and it's super important so if you have this i don't know if you guys could see but this little um serve manager icon to Google Calendar. You could set it up with different calendars too, but this is one I have. Um, I have it taking all of my contacts and uh, creating a file. So if I wanted to, you know, if I lost something or Google messed up or something, I'll, all my contacts that are in Serve Manager are automatically added to a Google Sheet. Yep. Yeah. So you could do so many things. Form Stack, this is the one I use right here. This is a good example of what it looks like. It goes from Form Stack to Serve Manager creates a new job um, uh, and I can just get going. I guess, I don't know, we just can't say enough about it, but automating your firm, I'm glad Trent that you mentioned that 
people don't have to use serve manager in order to do this stuff because with the automation tools that are out there, you could do a million different things, but serve manager is the most user friendly tool to be able to actually manage your serve and, and automate the proof of service process, which so many people take for granted now, but you can have a proof of service created in five minutes. My wife does all the proofs, but she'll create a proof in five minutes that has all the correct details. And all she's basically doing is reviewing it mm -hmm. and then hitting, and then hitting print. Yeah. So, if you're using the application as it's intended in the flow, I mean, it's generated for you. And yeah, then you're right. It's all about just kind of cleaning things up. But, well, um, I think we're getting pretty close here. Um, why don't, Mike, why don't you kind of wrap up with your parting thoughts and then also show people where they would go to uh, register for that August 1st webinar. And we'll stay on if you have questions while Michael is wrapping it up. I'll be looking for any other questions that come through. But um, yeah, we'll stay on for a couple more minutes. And you know, Mike, why don't you uh, take us home here? Okay, yeah, so I just, uh, the main thing that I wanted to get across here with the automation, the beginning, this is kind of like just that intro to it to let people know that uh, and I'm constantly adding things to it. And so, you know, people that I'm working with closely, like Trent, you know, dial it back, say, well, let's not give them too much. <laughs> I'm just letting you guys know, this is all, this is my mindset for automation is, if there's something that can be automated, why wouldn't you automate it so that you don't have to do it and you don't have to pay your employees to do it? My, my uh, main, uh, my assistant, Nancy, she, as soon as we started doing the automation and serve manager, she said, uh, you know, work shouldn't be this easy. <laughs> she said, it shouldn't be this easy to just come in and uh, watch the jobs come in and print them out for you. And uh, it's, that it really is how it is. And then uh, what, like I mentioned earlier, the whole idea with finance, you know, it's a huge pain point with people paying their bills on time. This takes out any of the risk. You get either get paid up front or you get a card on file. And you don't have to send them a, some janky form uh, via email. You don't have to get their credit card number over the phone. You just simply send them an email with a link and they fill it out and it gets stored securely in, in, in Stripe or whatever program you decide to use. But again, you can go to takebackyourtime.net and sign up for that course. It's actually gonna be set up as a webinar. The first course uh, release is going to be is going to be also set up like a webinar, but I'm going to go in. It's going to be a two hour webinar, and I'm just going to go in and teach you step by step. It's going to be the quick version of the course. I'm going to teach you step by step how to set it up, how I set it up using the different tools like ClickFunnels, uh, Formstack, how Zapier plays into it, Serve Manager, um, Stripe, and just kind of walk you guys through those main tools that I use on a regular basis. And um, that's pretty much it. I'm excited. The first 50 registrants will get that book. If you guys still want the book, because you're like, I like to read, you can still get the book on August 1st. Um, it'll, be, it'll be almost free. Cool. So. Awesome. Um, not seeing any questions come through, but uh, if there are any questions about what Michael's talked about today, uh, you know, Mike, how, how can people get a hold of you? Is there uh, an yeah. email that you prefer? Yeah, so you guys can go to uh, customer support at processserverdaily.com. That is my uh, email that I field all of this um, for the automation stuff. Yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, you are also scheduled to um, give a similar presentation uh, for the uh, automation domination uh, concept. Is it at, at CalSpro? Do you have that, you have that scheduled or? Yeah, at Calis Pro, yeah, and that's uh, October 5th. In, is it Sacramento this year? Is that it's right? in Sacramento, and it's the 50th uh, anniversary, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a presentation. What I'm hoping to do during the presentation, actually, is to uh, enter in the details and, and have it print out and do it all right there in front of everybody in less than five minutes. That's my goal. That <laughs> might be a lofty one, but that's my goal. I want people to see that if you automate things, I mean, you can just, it's just the time that it takes your customer to enter those details. And so I might pre-enter them and then say, okay, start the clock and we'll see what happens. It'll be, I guarantee it'll be less than five minutes and you'll see the payment in your Stripe account and you'll see the job waiting in your serve manager account to be printed out to go serve. Cool. So. 
Um, we'll, we'll definitely be there. And if there is uh, anyone out there from other state associations, uh, give Michael a shout. Get him on your, uh, on your speaker schedule. There's some, I'm sure this is going to be an ongoing, ever-evolving notion, and you're going to continue to find ways to uh, automate service process and legal support. So, Mike, thanks a lot for being with us today. This has been awesome. It's been great, Trent. You guys are great. Everyone have a good day and thanks for listening. Great. And just as a reminder, everyone will be getting an email uh, to this recording when it's live on Serve Now. And uh, subscribe to uh, Serve Now EDU on uh, iTunes or YouTube. Subscribe to Mike's podcast on iTunes and uh, go sign up for that, that webinar on August 1st. Thanks a lot, everyone.